kuri guda. sabihin na missionary. Ang miss ang bilang uh, wife a uh, uh, missionary's wife is hindi madali. Maraming pagsubok yan. But I know and I do believe na yan is ano alam na ni Lord yan. So uh, be strong. And <laughs> I hope that there will be a time that uh, you will be together. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It is a privilege uh, for me to give my uh, word to this beautiful woman of God, uh, to the beloved one. Pastor Raja, I know you're watching right now, or maybe if you are not watching, maybe later you will tune in. Um, I haven't seen you personally, but I know in spirit 
that you are one of the anointed pastor. I know that you will take good care of Sonia as your wife. And I do believe that no matter what kind of circumstances you will face both, I know that you will put God as the center of your relationship. Yeah. You will not, uh, my declaration is that you will not only multiply physically, but you will multiply spiritually. May the Lord continue to enlarge the territory you have. And uh, as now, you are now with Sonia as a wife. Uh, may I address this to Sonia? Sonia, be a woman in Proverbs 31. Uh, a noble character of a woman who is always prepared, ready, diligent, and uh, always there for her children, for her for, for his wife, for a wife. So stand firm and be a supporting wife to your husband, not only physically but spiritually. May the Lord continue to bless you as Abraham blessings will be always will be upon you from your generation down to your next generation. God bless you. Now we will go to our sisters and lahat po tayo magbibigay po tayo ng mga wishes sa ating kopon. Congratulations once again, Sonia and Pastor Raja. There is a saying that it says that behind the success of a man is a woman. So, being a pastor's wife, uh, may, may responsibility ka. So, uh, para makapagsalita tayong lahat sa, sa, sa iyo po i-address kasi parehas tayong babae. I'm not saying that my marriage life is a perfect, uh, it's not a bed of roses. Ups and downs yan. Uh, laging may may hindi pagkakaunawaan pero tayo kasi mga babae tayo yung mas malawak yung pag-unawa mas malawak yung pasensya kaya yun lang ang mai-advise ko sa iyo uh, beautiful Sonia that you are uh, that you are already a wife so pa habaan ng pasensya at uh, lawakan pa ang pag-unawa. Yun lang ang yes. the, be the best way uh, to fulfill your responsibility to your husband. Um, ang masasabi ko lang sa isa niya, um, you keep on the uh, patib ka rin na talik na uh, kasi uh, ginaday yung kayo kini pastor so um amok yan pa check nga everything nyaman ti um mangyari ah si sasagana tayo lahat ang um naganan i oh si sasagana tayo lahat ang kanayon ti bagi tayo and I know and I believe na praying praying is you are always there because of Pastor Raja is one of the pastors. So, ito yan. Marriage life ko kasi marriage life ko hindi perfect. Pero swerte ako sa dalawang anak ko. At sa daw sa sitwasyon mo ngayon bilang may asawa, dapat isa sa inyo yung mahaba ang pasensya. Isa sa inyo dapat yung parang pag nagtatalo, may hindi pagkakaunawan, isa ang tatahimik. Pagka di pas na tsaka kayo magpasa. Pamanawat pasensya lang ang kailangan para tumibay ang iyong relasyon. Lalo na sa pwadil kayo ni Lord. Alam ko, mag magiging matibay ang inyong pagsasama bilang mag-asawa. Lalo ang mga Indian culture, gagawin kayo parang queen. Ikaw lang talaga sa buhay niya. Kasi marami kami yung naging kaibigan din ng Indian. Ikaw lang. Congratulations, Ate. Uh, ang masasabi ko lang is, uh, yung relationship ng mag-asawa kapag ginawa yung uh, sentro si God sa inyong relasyon uh, 
there's nothing impossible. Lahat ang mga pagsubok na iyong maharapin ay iyong mapagtatagumpay. And then, uh, mahirap, mahirap yung sitwasyon nyo, di ba? Mahirap yung magkalayo kayo. Lalo uh, siya is, uh, isang pastor. So, bilang uh, asawa ng uh, isang pastor, uh, kailangan nandudun yung support ng mo na malayo ka man sa kanya, hindi, hindi yun yung dahilan. Hindi yun yung uh, reason para hindi mo may pakita yung support mo bilang asawa niya. So, uh, uh, kapag, uh, uh, kapag uh, yung uh, sigat nasa puso yung pareho, uh, nandun yung magiging matagumpay yung, ang inyong relasyon. So, ang kailangan lamang is uh, yung maging faithful ng bawat isa sa inyo. Good afternoon, sister. Congratulations. Ngayon, bilang, hindi ko naman sinabing, ano, uh, my life, ay, my, yung being husband and wife para sa akin. Hindi man forever like that. Forever, sa akin na. Pero sa inyo, kasi namamagitan sa inyo si God in the center of course pastor your husband and also you masarap maging christian na maging partner ko is being christian congratulations hey. oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> sayat man uh, what would i say i'm not i'm not a double but i'm a bachelor <laughs> sister sonia and to the pastor to the hobby um, congratulations. Um, although I'm a single, but uh, I have a lot of uh, family members who are pastor's wife, like that. And I've seen the burden, especially my sisters and my uh, niece that who are married with a pastor. They, they, they are into a lot of burdens and challenges. Sometimes my ate always cry to me. Oh, it's hard to become a pastor's wife because you you are being neglected of everything. But you don't have a choice but to submit. So what I am trying to say is, as a wife or as a pastor's wife, you just have to submit to your husband, as it says in Ephesians 5, if I'm not mistaken, verses 22 to 23. So, continue to serve the Lord. Uh, gaya ng mga sinabi ng mga may asawa na dito. Being, uh, being an LDR with LDR relationship with your husband. Or, I am saying also this to uh, Pastor. May, may not be the hindrance for you not to grow or for you not to grow in love, more deeply in love. But, di ba sabi na, na, na may kasabihan eh, absence makes grow thunder, makes the heart, makes the heart grow thunder, di ba?